Hello and welcome back to uh, Dollboy Club 4 episode 9 now um, with Ashman. Bit of a uh, bit of important business for you, you've probably noticed the background's blue. Um, yeah, big news. Oh, bear with me. Yeah, hello Mr. Lyle. <coughs> yes. <coughs> yes, you are. Are you a right? Yep. Yeah. I've had a job interview and I've been accepted for PSG. I think I was planning on going, to be fair. There's quite a lot of good players there. Oh. Okay. You'll do, you'll do what to me? Yeah, we'll stay at Arsenal. Uh, we've decided to turn that job down for no reason other than uh, I thought it was the best thing for my career. Uh, and no no worry or concern for my kneecaps. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll scoot ourselves down to the uh, the corner and I'll let you know how everything went on. Just before I scoot myself down into the corner, uh, if you want to like or subscribe on the channel, it'd be very helpful. And um, pop anything in the comments that you'd like to see. That'd be very, very helpful. But I will actually run away now. Thank you. So, yes, Paris. I was getting a little bit frustrated. I had a player that I was looking at. Um, I offered him, I offered the team the fee and he came through and he didn't want to even discuss a contract with me. However, he deemed himself very interested in Manchester City and Aston Villa. So that kind of annoyed me that they had so little pull. Um, so I offered for a few jobs. Uh, I offered for the PSG one because that it never comes around. Like literally, they don't sack their managers because what's the point? Because they win everything. So what reason would they have for being upset? Um, I know they've got Hudson Odoi, who's working really well with one of my roles. They've got Mbappe. Uh, they've got a few decent other players. Um, Yoni Pacheco, who we had at uh, Munch and Gladbach. It's PSG. You've got a win, you've got a slam dunk for the French League, a decent challenge for the Champions League. So I thought it was I thought it was wise to have a look at that. But um I thought it was just I wasn't really gonna enjoy I don't like PSG. The French League's yeah, questionable. So you need to be one of the big two to challenge them and try and overthrow them. So I think I might do that later in the career. Um and to be fair, I'm only what, nine episodes into the Arsenal one? And I think there's the following there to, to benefit me as well, to be fair. So I thought I'd rather stay in England for a bit. Um, we are now on the 13th of August. We're ready for our first game of the season against Leicester. We have a few transfers still floating about. Um, but I'll let you know what we've done actual transfer-wise in the, in the meantime. So we'll scoot down here and I'll shuffle myself out of the way. We'll do our outs first. It's quite a lot of them. Um, so we sold, let's go bottom to top, uh, Everton, he went out on a free loan, they're not paying anything, I'm not even sure they're paying his wages to be quite honest, let me have a look, uh, no, that oh it's not Everton, why did I think he'd gone to Everton, they were interested, uh, he's gone to Villarreal, but they're offering us 20 million at the end of it, so I just thought he's 33, I'll get 20 million for him, I'll take a year of just not paying his wages. Um, we've loaned out Alvaro Rondon. This is just a normal loan, so he's going out for game time. Um, Cabral we were aware of. A few youngsters being loaned out. That Mexedo is one that we were aware of anyway. Uh, he just triggered the thing is for Cardiff had to sign him. Uh, we sent Laporte back over to Athletic Club, 4.2. I'm pretty sure we've made money on him. Silly, but we have. Sold Renan, who's one of our youngsters. Wasn't really going to get near the first team for like 8 million to... Or is it standard Liège? Dragon, we were aware of. We had about 17 players unhappy that we haven't got any European football. Um, Gimaresh, there's quite a few of these that were involved in that. I think there's still quite a few left, to be fair. Um, so we just sent him off to Aston Villa for 31. No, he is 31 <laughs> for 18.75. I think we've lost like a million and a half in a year, so not really concerned. Vuk Radak has gone to Standard Liège. I think he's one of the Arsenal youth players. No, we signed him for 5.5, so we've made quite a healthy profit on him. Uh, we sold Guillermo Montoya, who's our left back, backup, former captain, just because of that leadership, really. Because I'm looking at bringing in another left back over him anyway. 
We've sold Ellis Brown. I did like Ellis Brown, but 27 million, and we've bought in other strikers that are end up playing over the top of him anyway, so I thought we'd just do that. Um, it's quite a healthy amount of money as well, and he's not homegrown. Gabriel, sold for 36. I'd like to have got a bit more, but he's 31, and he was playing his face at Paul last year, saying that he wanted to leave. And I'm not interested in keeping anyone here that says they want to leave, so he's gone. Uh, likewise with Yotta, he wasn't going to get near the team, um, so we've sent him over to Wolves to replace Diogo Yotta, who was left there about 10 years ago in real life. So there are outs. 193 million we've bought in so far. We've bought in Dominic Havlik. This feed doesn't look like he's very good. And then have a look at that. 70k? That is stupid. Is it really? It's just it's just gonna do it's just gonna do a job for us. I think oh, do you know what I haven't done? I haven't done my usual get him on a Mazala as a support. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, we've also signed uh, on a free transfer. Who is this? Oh, Soyuncu. Um to cover for Laporte, who left. Um is an improvement on Laporte, considerably less wages, he's worth value. We'll probably be able to sell him at some point, actually make money from him. I thought it made sense. Um, replacement for uh, Everton. We bought in Abdu Razak, who's a left winger. Might be training him to play left wing back if we start shuffling back to that tactic. But he's got he's as good as Everton was, and he's got potential. And he cost me eleven k, uh, eleven million. So thought that was more than more than reasonable. Uh, Marcel Triore had a relegation release clause, so he's our replacement for Ellis Brown, but also an improvement which is helpful. It's just everything that we want, really. He can also play right wing as well. I think he's our best right winger, if I remember early. Um, and finally, Johan Acosta is our big money, that he's our replacement for Gabriel. He's young. He actually wants to play with us. He's six foot one, which is a bit shorter than I want, but still definitely going to do, uh, do what we want from him. Um, yeah, he's a replacement at centre-back, so he's four-star, which makes him as good as Delroy. So these two are going to do a nice little partnership. I could do probably with bringing in a, one or two more, maybe young centre-backs. Um, in regards to the full-backs, because I'm trying to sell... Um, I'm thinking about selling Dodo, but he's just picked up quite a big injury. So I'm getting Nathan Trainer to play right wing-back. I've been chasing him for a little while. Um, but I think Forrest just got relegated, so he's looking to leave. So 39 million will bring him in. Attacking fullback, always nice. Um, Sander, we're looking at him. I'm not sure if I'll bring him in, but is Sander Berg in here? Got a... And then these two are like left backs. So I'm going to bring one of these two in Steve Noel. Noel, not Noel. It's my brummy coming out of me, that is, I think. Uh, Steve Noel <laughs> um, is that left-back that's going to fill in for Montoya. Maybe even for Isaka to play a bit higher up. Um, and Percy, actually, is a right-back. So it's either him or Trainer. I'll probably bring in Trainer. But I've been looking at Percy for ages, and I did want to bring him in, but I don't think it makes sense to do so, especially with how much money he is in comparison to Trainer. But if we don't pick in Trainer, pick up Trainer. Um, probably have a look at bringing person in, vice versa, maybe. Okay, so our lineup in the Leicester game we have Lopez in goal, Herrera out at right back with uh, Saka at left back, who's currently injured and unfit, but I physically don't have any more left backs. I apparently didn't have Herrera registered, but I think I'm fine to uh, advance him through. We've got Baldwin and Siunchu in the middle. Um, Acosta is, is here, he's just not fit enough yet, so I'm not going to force him in. We've got Kalar playing and holding mid role with Gwenduzi as our playmaker and Joe Samara as the Mazala. We've got uh, Jamie Charles out on the right side, Abraham up top, and then Thiago playing that false nine out on the left. Uh, hopefully, he'll pick up where he left off with his um, assists and, and the like. First game of the season after threatening to leave Arsenal but not doing so. Just, just keep him on their toes, that's all it was. Uh, just realised we're playing Siuncu against Leicester. I didn't even click until I saw that it was Leicester again. But um, 
I think it'll be, be, be a fun game. We haven't got any sort of interruptions with Europe at all this year, so hopefully we can make a proper push up the league and get into the Champions League positions, at least I'm hoping for this year. Um, all my manager and, uh, management, all my board are looking for is uh, Europa League, I believe, which is just silly. But uh, yeah, it's good. It's good. We'll do it. We move. We have them. We'll do them. Um, game's looking pretty even at the moment, which I'm not too keen on. Uh, let's demand some more. What are my instructions saying? Everything they should, I believe. Yep. Okay. Ah, I just I want Tiago playing behind two forwards again. He works so well that way. But I don't. I can't think of a way that I can involve three forwards and wingers. <laughs> It'd be a bit excessive. I'd have looked have like two people at the back, one person in midfield, and then five up top. So it's uh, it's not ideal. Bear with me a second. Okay, we're good. We're good. Talking about being good, Herrera's given away a penalty, and he's been sold. I've been mean, in an hour in between selling him and not selling him, and he's just made my decision up for me. But I'm not interested in having a player that wants to get penalties away all the time. Because it really pisses me off. It's why I don't like fullbacks. They're useless. Ah, uh, do you know what? I've snapped. I've snapped. I'm doing it. Right, we're going back. I'm not standing for it. Da -da 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 Nothing really needs to change. The only thing I need to do is try and find out if Jamie Charles can play there. No, he can't. So bye, Gandusi. <laughs> Sorry, lad, but it's 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 happening. Um, Flores. Yeah, we'll get Flores in. I hate it. it. Really winds me up. I don't know why fullbacks are so incapable of just not giving away penalties. Go on, Lopez. Oh, he didn't even need to. Beautiful. Well done. Right. I'm going to uh, demand more when it will give me the chance to do so. Ooh, Maximilian Voba. Right. I am going to thrash arms, so I'm not pleased. And then also what I'm going to do is go individual. I'm not interested. Uh, and tell him he's an absolute plunk of giving away a penalty. Can I do so? There's a lot more to come from you. I'll encourage him. Whilst also listing him minutes ago. Ooh, it really frustrates me. See and shoot. Oh, that's that was a pretty dominant claim from the goalkeeper there. Uh, we'll encourage him. We'll also go attacking as well. Why not? Ah, uh, I don't like playing three at the back. I don't like playing five at the back. I don't like playing full backs. I don't know what to do. Liam Clamp, the name with the go, the most bland name going, has just scored against him. Ah, uh, yeah. Literally, Baldwin is asleep. So actually, got his eyes closed running around the pitch. Um, I'm going to drop down to balanced and I'm going to berate him. Come on, let me shout at her. What's happened here then? Oh, Saka has picked up the injury. Which isn't what I was looking for, got to be honest. Uh, Razak is coming into that left wing back role a bit earlier than planned. Um, shouts and berate. Then what we'll also do is transition. We won't go to playmaker, we'll just lump it over the defence. We'll also look at hitting early crosses. And that is it. Come on. Another sub we can make. Herrera, funnily enough. Um, Abraham's in danger of losing his discipline. We'll put Marcel on. Players love a debut. Never do anything with it, but I like a debut. Come on, we've been absolutely outclassed in this game. We just have. Right, Herrera pumped it forward to Traore, who's making a run through to the left wing. And where are you going here, mate? I think my issue is that all of my forwards at the moment are creators. All the dribblers. None of them are finishers out of these three. Which is why I probably shouldn't have took Tammy off. But also, what else am I supposed to do? What else? 
It's a good start to the season. I'm really happy that I've been threatened into staying at PSG. It's not PSG. It's the opposite of that. Threatened to not go to PSG, should I say. Right, get it out. Well done, Sayunchu. Thiago's nodded it on. Traore's put it through to Flores. Right, here we go. Put it around him. Oh, beautiful. Not happy. I'm content. At most. Satisfied with this. I'm I'm tempted. Tempted to have two false nines either side of Mastroka. So it's kind of just really narrow wingers. And then these guys will do all the running. Maybe. So we'll probably be looking at coming back round about here. So I think that's when the third round of the cup will be drawn. Four, should I say. Um, presuming we get through the second round. But I hope I hope we'd have uh, enough about us to do that. But yeah, if you've uh, if you enjoyed that, give me a like, subscribe, click the bell. And thank you for your time.